we have scores, highlights, and updates from the regional championship games. Welcome back to my GSPN recap. Good afternoon, guys. I'm Chris Gonzalez. And I'm Anthony Coleman. And thank you guys for tuning back in to my GSPN recap where we talk high school sports. And as you guys know, this show is brought to you by GardenGrocer.com and AMP Sports Performance. That's right, Anthony, our beautiful sponsors. Thank you guys for everything that you do for us here. Yes, Anthony, you and I were at some regional, I'm sorry, some regional championship games mm -hmm. on Friday night in Class 7A for boys basketball. But before we get into all the highlights and all the action, I want you guys to go ahead and make sure that you're following us along on all of our social media handles to stay up to date with the hottest coverage in high school sports. And guys, make sure you like and share this video to go ahead and spread the love. Yes, but Anthony, you were out at Seminole for their big time game against Okoye. Tell us a little bit about that, man. Man, that game was crazy. Everybody from Okoye seemed to be there. Everybody from Sanford seemed to be there. The line was out the door, right. man, but I'm gonna jump right into it. Okoye jumped out the gate early and was out to a 7-0 lead early in the first. But Seminole would lock things down on defense and got things together. And after a big step back three by O'Shea Baker, the game would be all tied up going into the second quarter. The second quarter would be more back and forth action with Seminole holding the advantage with a late three by Corey Sedin Blake and another trade by Johnny Taylor right before the buzzer, put the Knights up by two going into halftime. O'Corey carried that momentum into the third quarter and had a quick 44 to 35 lead midway through the quarter. But the Seminoles would once again lock down on defense and fight their way back and finally, they got things together behind some huge shots by Ladarian Cleveland. And by the end of the third quarter, Okoye had just a four-point lead. First play of the fourth quarter, and Eric Wynn Jr. shows his DB skills, intercepts the ball, and takes it to the house for the huge monster slam. And just a play or two later, Eric would be wide open in the corner for a three. And just like that, Seminole takes the lead, 54-53, early in the fourth quarter. The Knights will recover, and they took a six-point lead, but the Seminoles fought their way back again and came away with a tough 68-65 victory against the Okoye Knights. David Green led the way for Okoye with 22 points, and the Knights finished their amazing season at 22-6. And, and with 11 seniors on the team, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how the Okoye Knights look next year. Seminole was led by Ladarian Cleveland and finished with 20 points, and he hit numerous big shots for the Seminoles when they desperately needed it, including a few long-range bombs from the logo. O'Shea Baker also played big for the Nose with his tough lockdown defense and even monster chase down block. O'Shea finished the game with 15 points, and let's not forget Eric Wynn Jr. who scored 10 points. Eight of those points coming in the fourth quarter where his team really needed it. Now, Seminole advanced to the state final four in Lakeland, man. It was an amazing game from start to finish. It was crazy to see Seminole pull, a, pull away with the victory. Locking down on defense and getting things going in there, man. That game was wild, bro. Right, that's going to be the first time in Lakeland for Seminole in numerous years. It's been a long time uh, since the Knowles have been out competing for a state championship. So mm -hmm. I know that the entire uh, Sanford community, Seminole High School, I know they're all ready for that. Bro, they're all they're high school. they're going to be out there in Lakeland. Absolutely, no doubt about that. Yes, sir. Guys, the game that I was at, Will and myself were at the Windermere versus Oak Ridge game, again, for that Class 7A Regional Championship. This game determined who was going to make it to the state championships in Lakeland, and Oak Ridge was in complete control of this game from the very opening tip-off. By the end of the first quarter, Oak Ridge led 21 to 14 behind some great play by Michael James and Fabio Basile. By halftime, the Pioneers were up 13 points. End of the third quarter, Oak Ridge was up 51 to 34, and at the final buzzer, it was Oak Ridge hoisting up that Class 7A Region 2 Championship trophy after defeating Windermere 70 to 51, and they punched their tickets to the RP Funding Center in Lakeland, Florida for the 2020 State Championship Tournament. Well, they will face Miramar on Friday afternoon at 12.30. After the game, Will and I got to catch up with head coach Steven Reese about what this win means for him and his team. So, it's big for our program, it's big for the community. And be for our coaches, I mean, I, co I got the best coaches in the world. I mean, we, we went out, executed the game plan that they put together, and it, and it just no, it's just no, not no me. You know, I get a lot of credit, I got a great coaches. Now, Anthony, after falling short in the regional championship last year against Osceola, Oak Ridge makes its return to Lakeland. They were led by Michael James with 22 points and sophomore Fabio Basile dropped 11 for Windermere. It was two juniors leading the way. You've heard their names all season. Kanye Jones and Jaden Golson. Kanye with 14, Jaden with 10. When it came down to it, from what I saw in this game, Oak Ridge was just too big, too fast. They controlled the pace the entire game. But it's going to be very interesting. You said it's going to be interesting for Okoye next year, losing 11 seniors. 
Windermere's returning basically their entire starting five, all juniors next year. So that's going to be very interesting to see what they can do. In the three years, the past three years, they made it to Lakeland Regional Championship. So let's see what they can do next year. But Oak Ridge is going to be facing again Miramar on Friday afternoon at 12.30. That's going to be a very exciting game. It's going to be interesting with all the Final Four teams. They reclass them. They have Oak Ridge is three, Miramar is two. So that's pretty much even right. matched up. And then Seminole at four. And then we have Forest Hill at number one. Right. I can't wait to see who's going to come out in the middle of all four of those. Right. And it could end up being two Orlando teams in the state title game. It could that's be Seminole and Oak Ridge. That'll be, be a Seminole great game. Great game. I'm hoping that's what it's going to be. But, uh, but man, it's going to be insane. But, man, yeah, you never know. You never know, man, especially right. with Forest Hill coming in as number one. We haven't really covered them so far this much on the year, but they are the number three ranked team in the state behind Montverde Academy and IMG Academy, two right. of the best teams in the nation. So Forest Hill looks like the overall team to win out. But I've been impressed by Seminole. They're a little smaller team. Like you said, they're just like Windermere, smaller, but they know how to use their size, right. and they've been able to – Pass all the giants and everything. And they know how to use their athleticism. That's, big that's time. the main I mean, thing, man. You got guys that are, that are barely pushing 6'5, six, 6'6, six, six, having to play that five slot and playing like they're seven foot tall because they could jump so damn high. It's ridiculous, it, it, it's, it's man. Ridiculous, Especially you know like O'Shea Baker being not even six foot and right. he's coming back with all these chase down blocks like mm -hmm. out of nowhere. Yeah, O'Shea's man. throwing the ball in the stands, <laughs> man. He's my height. That is crazy, man. <laughs> that is crazy. As long as you got the athleticism, you're able to use it, you'll be able to get past and work with these teams how it is. So right. all these are going to be some interesting matches. I don't know who's going to make it, but... I guess we'll crazy. have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see, man. We'll have to Friday, wait and see. Friday, these games are going down, so we're going to have more updates for that on you guys on our social medias again make sure you guys are following us along on all of that and make sure you guys like and share this video but anthony that's our show for that's today right. we want to go ahead and thank our sponsors gardengrocer.com if you're staying in the orlando area at one of the disney resorts go ahead and place an order for groceries to be delivered to your room at the time of check-in save money and time by shopping with gardengrocer.com and also you discover florida if you're looking for a new restaurant hotel or attraction check them out on instagram at you discover florida or you discover and once again, guys, I'm Chris Gonzalez. And I'm Anthony Coleman. And thank you guys for tuning back in to my GSPN recap. As always, you guys know, here, it's your sports, all Are you, all the time.